Hello everyone, I'm welcome back to the channel. I'm Claire Guatu and I don't, I don't know why I'm just trying not to film today's video because it's quite um I would say it's stormy but it's quite weird for me today's content is a story time and it's actually a key influence transmission and it's a story time that I, I don't want to say but I kind of just say I knew there was coming out and Yes, I feel the story is something that most people should be able to relate to. Not relate to what we have their own moments. So today's video is a K drama moments in life. <laughs> a cringy K drama moments that I've had in real life. And let me just start the story. And I really hope the person that I'm saying story about never gets to see this video because so ever since we're saying this on youtube well <laughs> we do what we do for content <laughs> and i believe that it's a very very inspiring story it's inspiring no <laughs> i would love to use this like it's going to be inspiring or not so okay let's get into story time story time this has happened like it happened up to five years ago more than because this was like something that happened like in 2014 <laughs> So back then I was still in secondary school and it was our final year because our secondary school system we have like six years in total we have juniors one to three then we have seniors one to three so that's six years in total so I just changed schools for my final year so because I wanted to write the, um, our final exams for secondary school in a good school so then I had a crush on someone <laughs> yeah I had a crush teenagers crush of oh. I don't remember, it's so cringe. <laughs> oh, I didn't miss myself. Oh, please. <laughs> I hope none of my secondary school classmates watch this video or ever see this video. If you're watching, just scroll out. Don't, don't look at this video. Uh, I've never watched it. So, so, I had a crush on him. But I didn't know he had a crush on me, too. Okay. This is the first time I was saying it ever. I think the only thing that know are my siblings. So, I had a crush on him and I just changed schools and we were preparing for a final exam so I didn't have time to like develop any friendship and we we're still young then so obviously no one was interested in those kind of stuff so we just wanted this to the back of my mind because he was so cool and handsome was he? I don't know <laughs> maybe I was I was still a child then <laughs> so back to the story so I didn't know he had a crush on me back so there was a time then like we just had so many moments and so many of us since the teenagers but well let's just say i started feeling that he had a question me back like later on then on valentine's day <laughs> that, was, that was as cringe as it sounds on valentine's day he oh before valentine's day like towards the week leading up to valentine's day he made um he was making a love card like a kind of like Hard for the time. I didn't know it was for me actually. I was always thinking, I was like, mm, I'm going to be this girl. I didn't really put more attention because I was focused on my now. It's now me. The year that I was in school, back to study. So then it was a card with red and white. I had the card up to a few years ago, but I left it in school after school. So I don't actually know where the card is. That's the hype that the card was. So back to say on but I'm not to say story straight, I always die back. So on Valentine's Day he gave me the card with a flower and did he give me chocolate? I can't remember. So I was I was so surprised. I was like, what's oh, this? This is one of the kid you almost <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know what to say or anything and also why me I you never hinted, I never knew that you liked me. I, I did not expect this from you. I can't wait. This is another thing. But he was so shy. I was shy too. So I didn't say all these things out loud. I was just saying it in my head. And he gave me a walk out. Like it was on the Valentine's Day 2014. We had like an event in our school. We had like a Valentine event. So it was after the events that he gave me. Then we watched out and I was so, I was so drunk. Shook. I, I was so shook. I just. I went home. Just <laughs> now I went to my side because I was like, oh, this guy has a question on me. Like, oh, I, I had a question on him like the previous day. I entered the school 2013, but I didn't really like 
think much about it and see this no but you mean you know the question was like oh see how's the question me oh so that one was actually kind of like i think that was one of the first times i received a lot of confession in public it was even of body in our class and and this was a flower and a love card so i was like oh oh my god there's no help to me just be or stuff like that it's, it's it kind of like it's a lovely memory so I was still in shock, even dance when I came back home and everything. So we we didn't actually talk much. So I think by the time I was on the fire or so. So the next week, um, <laughs> I didn't like give any response because the way he gave it to me, he didn't like say, "Okay, you be my girlfriend" or something. He just like said, "Hey, I made this for you. I got this for you." Something like that. So he didn't hint anything. So I was supposed to know. Oh my gosh. So. <laughs> So I did not seek huge attention, like I didn't put much of my focus in it. So later on, it became awkward, like obviously, because I kind of had a little crush on him before then, and now he confessed to me, like, okay, he likes me, so I, for him to have crush do that in front of everybody, it was obviously something that was serious. So, um, so it started becoming awkward, like, whatever. We can't be alone together in the same place. Like I was now having that constant consciousness that oh this guy likes me and stuff like that. So later on, then we, we had a lot of kid moments. Like in you know that moment when you pass each other and your heart is beating, yes, that was moments that we had. So like in our school, we had the kind of staircase that leads to our class. So that staircase only two people can pass at the time. So no more than two people. So. I was coming from I was from downstairs, I was coming back to the class and he was leaving the class. So he was coming he was coming from upstairs, I was coming from downstairs and we passed by. He's like I was going upstairs, he was coming downstairs. <laughs> and we passed by. So as we passed, it was kind of awkward, like kind of and kind of like I had was meeting and I was like, Oh my gosh, my be like this, you know, that kind of thing. So he just passed, like we didn't even talk, did we? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember I was having any interaction. Like, he just passed, like, passed. But while I was speaking, someone was like, Who is someone that confessed to me, like, last week? No, I confessed, gave me a love card, like, last week, and we were meeting alone, just like that. So, so we just passed. Like, that. so when I, when I came out of the staircase side and went to the um, passage towards the class, and after I was like, <sighs> So, as I was like, that, one of my classes was conscious. Like, oh, Claire, what happened? I was like, oh, nothing. I was like, I just experienced the Kidama moment. You know it. Because then most people in our class were watching Kidama. I was like, oh, you know it. So that was all about the Kidama moment. Though, it, nothing happened again. So, but later on, he kept on giving hints. So, like, okay, Claire, I like you, and you're not giving me an answer, and stuff like that. I was thinking it was a joke, or I don't know, he might actually be like serious or something like that. But I was not really interested in dating because I don't, I don't know, I don't know why, I can't remember. But later on, then he later on asked me out. And we had uh, a get together at one of our friends' house. Then we were like, ah, this is like around April, and he had already confessed around February, Valentine's Day. That was like February, March, if you like two months after. He was like, he continued having awkward moments like that, but. I and mean, we never passed on the case again. Okay. <laughs> so later on he asked like I confessed to you, I told you I like you and stuff like that. And you've been doing like this like this for for two months. So let me know that is something I'm like, okay yeah. But then we're almost done with the exams. I was like, we're not going to see because we're not all literally staying in the same area. We're coming from different area but we're coming to school. Like school was the only place we usually meet. So that was that we did it for quite a while and it didn't really last because Oh, we're done with school. Well, we're moving on with their life, going down to university, college, every um, polytechnic. So that was pause. I can't forget that day. Nothing else stops. <laughs> I've had different other confessions, but that was like nothing that stuck with me because I was in secondary school then. I was a bloody ass teenager, and it was quite touching because I didn't expect it and. I was I didn't even have an ounce of anything of suspicion that he actually liked me back and I was trying to suppress my crush and it didn't happen then I was like oh, my house is like oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's it. That's the end of today's story time and I don't know if I said the story very well if you could understand the story. I tried to say it as best as I could so uh, maybe I'll be not story times period moments. I, I still have others.
yes kinda do i remember them now no this is all i wanted to say like for today's video so what if you like today's videos i'm like this subscribe to the channel and give this video likes but don't share because <laughs> I don't want the people in this video, people I talked about in the video to ever, ever find this video. And just comment. <laughs> comment down below your own killer moments in life. So let's see if you can relate and if you also had something like this happen to you before. I will be done. <laughs> That's not embarrassing to say. It's not embarrassing to say, but more like it's been a while and uh, <laughs> I don't like cringy things. I don't like. I don't know, I'm allergic to words. <laughs> so, don't worry. <laughs> That's what you like. <laughs>